So cinema lenses. Cinema lenses. Yes, indeed. Oh, I'll start this again. So cinema lenses. Six of them. Indeed. And today. <laughs> so Eric, have you ever used a Blackwing Seven set of cinema lenses? Today is the first time I've used these lenses. Uh, I think you're the only person in Toronto to currently utilize the golden magic of the Blackwing Seven T series of lenses brought to you by the good folks at Canada Film Equipment and today we're talking to you about our first experience shooting with these beautiful lenses and showing some examples of what we got and uh, how these lenses could help your cinematic making absolutely let's roll <laughs> Hey guys, so Canada Film Equipment has dropped off these lenses for us to test out for the day. Uh, actually, pretty much just an hour. We only had an hour of time to shoot with them <laughs> before the sun went down, unfortunately. And then we got caught in traffic. And then we got caught in traffic, a lot of traffic. So the golden hour shots today did not happen, but we thought, why not bring it back in the studio and shoot a, a Canon feature? on a uh, Sony FX9, because that's what you do. You uh, basically shoot a, uh, a feature episode on a, a certain camera, utilizing a different camera as your subject model. But anyways, we shot with these beautiful lenses, which are a PL mount. And so for us, normally we shoot on EF mounts. That's kind of our workflow, I'm guessing. Yeah, 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 yeah. EF and RF, we're Canon shooters. Uh, but when they dropped off these lenses, they also lent us an FX9. And it's a nice camera. It so. is very nice. It's extremely heavy, Yes, but it is a beautiful camera. <laughs> <laughs> the coloring is very similar to the Sony Venice uh, and the FX6 series. Any users of Sony out there who do FX3 shooting, FX6, FX9, uh, this camera is a beast. And uh, the quality it can bring both in 6K, shooting in S-Log2, S-Log3. It even shoots in proxies. Uh, it has a really cool feature also with an automatic ND filter. So we're not gonna jump into review of the FX9 because we don't have enough topics to talk about with the yeah. FX9. We have very little experience using it, but in the style of running gun shooting that we did, uh, that variable ND being automatic is a super, super cool feature. But to jump the topic at the hour here, these uh, Blackwing 7 lenses are a very unique set of cinema lenses. And I'm just gonna talk about briefly the specs so you guys can check out uh, the different features of these lenses and what they offer. So I'm gonna cheat here and talk about some specs and I'm gonna use my phone, so don't, uh, don't hate me here, but since we don't have a ton of experience with these lenses, I wanna make sure that I'm accurate to portraying the information to you guys. So we have a series of six lenses from Canada Film Equipment. They are the 27, the 37, the 47, the 57, the 77, and the 107. All the sevens. All the sevens. Now these have an aperture range of 1.9 or T1.9 all the way to T22 across the range. And they have a front diameter of 104 millimeters for all of the lenses. Now that's a huge bonus because if you have matte boxes like we do with the Polar Pro series, yep. you can pop on one ring adapter and essentially swap in and swap out those matte boxes. Absolutely. You don't have to worry about different screw in sizes. Mm -hmm. Just each lens has the matte box ready to go. And I don't know about you, but speed is a huge thing to me. Oh my God. If you're working on that, because it's like you don't want to be shuffling around with additional adapters, additional peripherals, or any sort of like map box adapters to make sure you get that right thing if you're yeah. looking to save time on a shoot. So having the same uh, range there for front diameter is a huge bonus. So yeah, these are a specific style of lenses and I would recommend checking out the website, which I will link above or below or somewhere in this video, that you'll see the uh, basically the description of the style of creation of these lenses. They're very unique in the fact that they have a, a light flare characteristic and 
uh, I guess almost like a description based on musical tonality for how the lens uh, reacts to light, reflects the light, as well as gathers the focusing into certain environments. They give you a very full sort of cinematic milky feeling without any kind of matte box on them. You don't have to necessarily have that kind of lens filter feel. The lenses all kind of come with it. And it's awful to say a cinematic style to lenses because that sounds so cliche, but shooting on the FX9 in that PL mount you can see why these are lenses that are specifically for film and television and maybe some high-end promotional work. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Any, con any kind of commercial work, mm -hmm. definitely, you would want to use these lenses because these lenses are really well built. Yeah. They're beautiful. Um, they go down to 1.9 and you have all the focal lengths you need for any kind of commercial shoot. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the the build construction is, is really quite something. They're heavy. But they're not too heavy. I'm exactly. kind of surprised by that because yeah. PL mount lenses are often quite large and bulky. Yeah. But uh, in this case, the the focus throw is really really smooth. Yeah, buttery, um, buttery actually. Yeah. So for any kind of like focus gearing, if you're doing focus pulling, in this case, I was just doing hand pulling yeah, because you were. we didn't have time a separate focus gear system. But uh, when it comes to utilizing these lenses with a proper focus pull, I mean, they go about roughly, I'd say, if a full range is 180 degrees, they're about three quarters yep. for the focusing. Yeah, it's a, like a yeah, full three quarter turn to get from infinity to your base focus. And these are, I believe, handmade lenses. They're, they're not something that's like a, a manufactured lens in a series that you get for like a Canon series or a Sigma, like mass produced. These are crafted with even the etching with the black wing there, the black wing seven. You can tell there is a high end product. Um, most of these lenses for price, I believe according to, I mean, quotations, I believe, <laughs> but I think they're about roughly between 20,000 or 15 to about 25,000 Canadian per lens. So yeah. if that represents a build quality, then I think, you know, you're working with some pretty high end glass here. So some more description here, the Blackwing 7 series allows for parameters such as sharpness, contrast, roll off, spherical aberration, field curvature, edge halation and flares, which can be modified to provide sets of curated optics to suit the personality and intent of the owner. Like I've, I've never seen <laughs> A website describe lenses in that format and Sigma makes amazing lenses and who else makes amazing lenses you know Mica, DZO Film, Cook Lenses etc, yeah. Sarui um, but seeing the, the almost a personalized touch yeah these guys did a great job with their website and really providing that information you need to know before purchasing or using these lenses they're, they're you could tell they're really passionate about their product and uh, they're really descriptive on how they perform. The description, yeah, absolutely. They even say on their website, the ability to tune each black wing lens is identical to how EQ adjustment is used in music production. And I think most people can understand what that means as music production. You're always changing the equalizer. You're, you're playing with the highs, the mids, the bass, the lowers, right? Mm -hmm. And that's how they describe these lenses, that while shooting with them, you can play with those kind of feels as far as image goes. With each focal length having an underlying level of distortion which can be controlled to produce strong artistic resonances including unique flaring characteristics mm -hmm. as Steven has shown in the video. Yeah, I think the flaring is definitely something I've never seen before. Uh, even with Zeiss optics lenses that we've worked with on a couple shoots we've done, there's something even when you rotate the lens and the light here just to get some flaring from our softbox above us, the image is completely clean and you can see the sh actually the sharpness and the yeah, edges beautiful. that it's almost a mirroring effect of like looking at a, a hologram per se. And I know this is not what you'd look for in, in obviously finding a lens, but it just showcases when you move the lens back and forth in the light and adjust the iris, there is a lot of detail and a lot of like high end precision components that I've really never seen before in a lens series. I think these lenses really are something that uh, you would just utilize in any format per se. You wouldn't have a specific lens for a specific environment. These lenses could do it all. Absolutely. So what did you guys think? That was Eric being the starring role in A Day in the Life of a Canon Shooter shot on a Sony FX9. I think that may be the only ad of a now, I guess competing brand name, shooting on the other brand name to focus on that brand well, name. Well, don't forget, we're also recording this on a Lumix. Oh, yeah.
Yeah, how many cameras can be going at the same time? Let's find out. But uh, definitely check out Canada Film. Talk to me, Ron. See if these camera lenses are good for you because I really think they are. Um, and it's just something that I really think could add a level of dimension to your film or series or promotional work that you have never worked with before. Now, there are three lens series in the Blackwing 7 as far as I've learned. I think there's an X series, a T series that we have, and a different series that hasn't been named yet. Don't quote me on that. Yeah. I am talking on information I've just learned today, but I think, I think that there are three series in this lens. Um, this has a T tuning, as you can tell, T2.1 to T1.9 to all the way to T22. I think the X tuning applies to the style of uh, Aperture Iris, and I would guess also that the third series would be the same. And as I said earlier, they have a milky quality to them. There's definitely something with these lenses that give them that unique. I don't need a matte box to shine look, right? Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah, I don't know. What would you What would you want to use these lenses for? If you could have a perfect shoot setup, what would you do? Oh, I don't know. I would use them for any kind of short film, yeah. commercial shoot, anything, anything really. I would love to use them for any kind of project just because <laughs> the image is so incredible. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is truly special. So. Looking forward to working with this again. Check out Canada Film and uh, drop us a message below if you use cinema lenses like the Blackwing 7 series. If you have experience working with it, probably more than we do because yeah. it was just today that we tried them. So uh, definitely drop a message below. And until next time, stay tuned for more reviews and very last minute videos on beautiful lenses uh, from the Blackwing 7 series.